Hey guys, it's Brent with Sonic Electronics and today on Car Audio 101 we're going to be replacing the speakers in this Scion TC. To start with we got the MVX coaxial V-Series. Along with the parts that were required for this car are actually call for a speaker adapter bracket. That way we have enough mounting depth inside the door as well, a new place to mount our speaker. Over to the right here we have the plug and play adapters from Metra which will actually adapt the factory connection to the aftermarket connection which will plug right into the speaker terminals. Makes it real easy for you, it tells you which one's positive and negative. Now, if you're not utilizing the plug and play adapters from Metra, the parts required are gonna be female quick disconnects. Here we have the female 18 to 22 gauge female quick disconnect, along with the female quick disconnects, which is an eighth inch for our negative terminal on our speaker. As you can see, it's much smaller. Now, tools required for this uh, installation are typically gonna be your wire strippers, wire crimpers, a variety of panel removal tools along with the panel clip removal tool, a variety of your flathead and Phillips number two screwdrivers, and typically some other cars may require a socket, uh, socket and ratchet set, screwdriver, etc. All right, so the first step is disconnecting the negative battery terminal on the vehicle when replacing your car speakers. Now the reason why we do this is to protect against any shorts. Uh, you know, when you're taking off the door panel, you do have some harnesses on the inside of that door which could be pinched when removing the panels. We want to make sure that we don't cause any short circuits, blow any fuses, it's just the safe way of doing things. All right guys, so step two of this process in replacing your factory car speakers is actually removing the panels and getting to the factory speaker. Now in this process, a lot of people think that they can actually pry on the factory speaker grill, which in this case you can't. A lot of older vehicles you may be able to where it pops off, but I suggest removing the entire panel, make it easier on yourself because now you can actually access the factory speaker, all the wiring, everything you need to do. So to start off, I'm going to start removing the rear seat, which on this uh, particular vehicle, you're just going to lift up and you can hear it unsnap. All right, so once we remove the rear seat, we can now have more access to the panel. Now, typically these panels are held in by just panel clips. And I prefer using my hands because I could really feel the resistance points on the panels just to make sure if there's any screws holding it down, I'm not going to break the panel itself. All right guys, so we got the factory panel removed in the Scion TC. Now this next step is removing the factory speaker. Now it's held in by three 10 mils, which we're gonna remove and put aside because we may be using these later. So one thing you don't wanna do is get rid of your factory hardware just in case if you do wanna go back to stock or if you could utilize it on the new install. We got the speaker removed now from the factory location. As you see, it's pretty cheesy. We also have the factory plug, which our Metro adapter will plug right into to give us positive and negative. All right, guys, so your third step is mounting the aftermarket coaxial speaker into the proprietary adapter bracket. Now, as you can see with the factory speaker, it's basically just a replicated mount. Same thing, so it bolts right into the factory space. Now, remember when I told you to keep that factory hardware? This is why. So I've got it lined up pretty well. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten down my retaining screws. Now these screws should be provided with almost every speaker that you purchase from Sonic Electronics, basically giving you the right hardware to get everything mounted. All right guys, so we got the speaker successfully mounted to the adapter bracket from Skosh. Now in this case, we're, we're getting ready to install the speaker into the factory location. Now a couple things I just want to point out here is we see a little bit of a gap between the speaker and the mounting bracket itself. It's sort of hard to see, but you may be able to to get that view there. Now, what I typically recommend is to seal it off with some Dynamat or some sound deadener in general. That way it seals off the speaker nicely. But if you look in this panel, we got a lot of open area. So I did suggest to this customer, let's do some sound dampening, which we'll be doing in the future. But I do suggest it when you got the speakers out. It makes life a lot easier. Now, on this adapter bracket as well, you see a little opening. And this opening is allowing the wires to come through to the terminals on the back of the speaker here, which is positive and negative. Now I'm using the Metra plug and play adapter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna feed my wires through this little opening point. Go ahead and terminate the connections here. Perfect. So I'm gonna pull my wires out a little bit, push these terminals down, that way it sits flush on the panel. And we're golden. All right. All right, so we got our Metra plug our factory connector, and voila. So we got the speaker successfully mounted into the factory location utilizing our Skosh adapter bracket and our Metro plug and play harness. Now you're just gonna repeat the same steps that you saw here on the other side. 
All right guys, so step four is the reassembly of the vehicle. Now prior to reassembling, you wanna make sure you reattach your negative battery terminal, verify that everything works, which we already have. Now it's time to get it all back together. All right guys, so now we're reassembling the vehicle, putting the factory panel back into place. Now beforehand, make sure you got all your panel clips reattached to the factory panel itself. A lot of them will pop off and stick onto the panel. So make sure you get those removed and put them into the factory location. That way your panel doesn't rattle and actually sits back into the factory spot. All right guys, so we got our speakers installed into the Scion TC. Everything's working flawlessly and sounds great. Now remember, this is not the most difficult install out there. Depending on the vehicle, it could be a little bit more complex or it could be much simpler. Now if you're running into a wall, try to choose speakers or get the right installation accessories, Feel free to give one of our knowledgeable sales reps a call at one 877 sonic and we'll be more than happy to guide you along. Other than that, stay tuned for some more Car Audio 101 series and you guys have a great day.